A postal worker is in critical condition after getting struck by a stolen vehicle in southwest Philadelphia. Two other people were injured when the car they were in also got hit. Crystal Cranmore is live at 50th and Woodland Streets with the latest. Crystal? Good afternoon. Well, that U.S. Postal Service worker did suffer the most serious injuries in that hit and run crash earlier this morning. Now, not only did we speak with witnesses, just moments ago we spoke with the owner of this Hyundai here that was also involved in that crash, and he tells me that he actually ran after the suspect and helped police catch him. An eyewitness captured a chaotic scene at 50th Street and Woodland Avenue in southwest Philadelphia as first responders rushed to the aid of people hurt in a hit and run crash. Among those injured, a United States postal worker. Police say he was behind his truck sorting mail when the driver slammed into him. As for the suspect... Then he jumped out and took off, running. It happened around 11 o'clock Wednesday morning as Andrea Whitmore was looking out the window of the Woodland Health Center nearby. The collision caused a delivery truck to hit this Hyundai with a man and woman inside. Investigators say one of them jumped out and ran after the suspect until police arrived and arrested him. Meanwhile, the 46-year-old mail carrier... Everybody's running like... To, to the, you know, to the aid, you know, um, of this man, this poor man. Paramedics rushed him to Penn Presbyterian Medical Center with fractures to his right leg. It's just another example of, you know, somebody, an innocent person, you know, completing their job responsibilities on the streets of Philadelphia and falling victim to, to a senseless crime. The aftermath stems from an investigation into an illegally parked car on the 4800 block of Pine Street moments earlier. Right as police discovered the Toyota SUV was stolen, the suspect jumped in the vehicle, sped off, ran a red light and crashed, according to police, leaving the injured federal employee fighting for his life. Our top priority is the safety and security of our employees. All right, so when we get the call that one of our own out on the street has been injured like this, it shakes all of us. Now, the U.S. postal worker, we are told, is in critical but stable condition. The men and woman who are inside the Hyundai, they're doing okay. We're told that the woman is still in the hospital with minor injuries again to her back. Now, coming up at Eyewitness News at 6, we speak with the family who owns that stolen car and first reported it stolen on Tuesday. Live in southwest Philadelphia, Crystal Cranmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Crystal, we'll see you in just over an hour.